Well, it is currently Monday, April 20th. Shift down there, going up a little bit of a hill here. Making a lot of dust, surprisingly. And uh, we got obviously in the mulch finisher here. Just working down a quick 10 acres uh, to test the planter in. And uh, we're not gonna get too crazy, maybe we will. They're talking rain this afternoon and uh, we wanna put a piece of tile in a field that's that direction. We got our permit approved. We put it in last fall, if you've watched us last fall. I talked about maybe putting tile in last fall. We never got to it because our permit didn't get approved until uh, the ground was froze. But it's a little bouncy out here. But uh, things are going well. It feels good to get back in the tractor. Um, it's very windy. The sun was out, but uh, like I say, we do have a little bit of rain moving in. And uh, before I get attacked, because we are still in the quarantine, my wife gave me this haircut. And honestly, not too far off from my normal haircut. So kudos to her. But uh, just working down that quick 10 acres so we can run the planter, make sure all the spark firmers are talking to the planter. There's so much technology on these planters nowadays that. Um, if there is a hiccup, we want to know about it now, but honestly, we probably could plant fine, but uh, we want to know about the hiccup now. Pretty short rounds in this field, but like I say, we'll find the hiccup now. That way we can get a guy out here to look at it if need be. As of now, everything seems to be talking to each other, but we all know how that goes once you get out in the field. So we'll double check it and uh, make sure everything's ready to rock for this week. We might try to sock in some corn acres here. So here we go getting crowded in the yard but uh I'm gonna park this here for now uh, the sun's back out wind's blowing and um i think we're gonna go pull in that tile line quick it's only a couple hundred feet i can't imagine it's gonna be more than a couple hundred feet so we're just gonna do that real quick i think i've seen them hook up the tile plow pretty simple concept we're here in the 8440 and uh, this plow does pretty darn well but uh it's all off the eye you know we're only gonna lay down about 200 feet here so we don't have to be real uh, precise. There's quite a bit of fall in the field where we're gonna do it. There's a spring that comes up in a side hill that we're just trying to help drain, so here we go. There she goes. Pulling in some uh, four inch tile. No laser grade like the master pipe layer Andy, but it's gonna do the job. You can see there's a wet area through here that we never really get planted with a draw there, but Again, this is permitted work and it, we go through the soil and water office and they come look at the ground and whatever they do but uh, we're gonna have to do a connection here and probably add on another 50 to 100 feet and that'll be it then we just tape up the end so dirt can't get in there i know they make caps we just taped it up quick and you'll see him here when he comes out of it he'll just uh once it goes through and he'll just be able to pick the pick it right out of the ground here I don't use this thing much, but you can see the tile could sit up there on that white drum and then it would spin itself out, but we had it, uh, we kind of had a, just laid it out here, which is fine for a little bit we did. But there she is. Now he'll just back down his uh, area there to kind of close that in a little bit. And uh, I'm already over here with the mulch finisher, ready to close it up and flatten it out even a little more and depending on how it looks I might just work this whole field but right there is our tile line you cannot even hardly see it uh, one pass over right there and it's leveled out almost perfectly um, this uh, Kroos uh, mulch finisher is just impressive what it's able to do in one pass really chews everything up and uh, smooths out all in one pass where sometimes we'd have to do two passes with a field cultivator or a digger as we call it but uh, I'm impressed I like this thing there are in some hills back here there's just a small little I don't know what there's even five acres back here but there's a spring that just comes out of the side of this hill here it's kind of wild so I just went around it kind of clean it up a little bit uh, but this is a one pass uh, tool here. There's definitely more moisture on the ground that's uh, not worked last fall. I'm not sure why this field didn't get worked, but it's not a big deal because, I mean, look at the job that this thing does, chewing everything up. And honestly, it does the same type of job in uh, standing corn stalks if you leave those, but we like to kind of get them starting to break down and incorporate it into the soil in the fall. But 
this thing is pretty darn nice. So buzzing right along here. There's definitely more moisture in the ground that's not worked because it uh, didn't attract the sun as much, but uh, there's advantages probably to both. But it definitely helped the ground probably be more plantable, the stuff that was worked last fall. It's a little rough through here from the pipeline. They had to come through and dig it up here with excavators and fix it up or whatever, but they must have run some sort of a ripper bulldozer. You know, they smoothed it out pretty well, but um, a lot of big rocks got pulled up and some tree roots and what, I don't know, something else over here. We gotta uh, clean that up a little better here. We'll uh, get the rock picker over here and throw some of that trash in there and we'll get, uh, get this squared away. But wow, it's nice. I think there used to be a tree pile here is what happened. They had to dig through a tree root to get to the pipeline probably. Already splashed up. Ooh, they should drop that combine off here. Like a 780. Um, they did a really good job cleaning up these tree ruts. There was a big tree here, and we can't dig those out because obviously the pipeline is right next to it. But there's just a few ruts we'll grab here with the um, rock picker. But that's one pass over their really rough bulldozing, and that's what this thing does. We'll go over one more time when we're done cleaning it up with the rock picker, but. You cannot go wrong with this mulch finisher. So I'm just gonna finish going around here and start going back and forth in this field. Sometimes it's just faster to make piles and then come along and scoop them up with the uh, rock picker. Finding all sorts of goodies from the hole they had to dig to fix the pipeline. Wood and lumber from a road they made and stakes and metal posts and oh my goodness. Big old chunk of steel that's pretty sharp on both ends, but don't take this the wrong way. We are thankful for the work that the pipeline guys do and what they do for our economy locally, so don't take it the wrong yeah. way. You guys have a good one. Take it easy. We'll check you later.